Hello, lovely people. Today we're going to get some insights about learning journey. Four stages of anyone's learning journey. Now, if you think you're not a student and this video is irrelevant for you or this topic is irrelevant for you, then just listen to me for a minute. Usually what we think we connect learning with students. So once a person is a student, has to learn, and then when you're out of school, out of uni, or out of some course, then learning process stops. But how about in our daily life? When we talk to someone, we connect with someone, um, when we form a new relationship, do we learn to mend our ways accordingly? When we go to a new place, a different place, do we learn to adapt accordingly? Then we, when we form our new routine, do we learn to make some changes in our routine? When we learn, when we need to change our wake-up time, so when we um, need to wake up early, so do we learn to sleep early and then wake up early? So everything, everything we do, every changes we make in our daily life, every step we take forward, every development, every time we grow, there's a learning included. So today I'm going to talk about four stages of learning. Now coming to the stages of learning, the first stage is unknown incompetence. Unknown incompetence means you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Confusing, right? So at this stage, um, you don't know what you're not aware of, what skill you don't have. For example, I'll um, actually, I'll give my own example. I'll share my own experience through these four stages of learning. So when I was back home, back in India, and I used to work, I, I used to get to pick up, pick up and drop off by my workplace. And um, every time I needed to go to work every day, I used to get a pick up right outside my door. And then I used to finish work and then I used to get dropped off right at my home again. So at that stage, I didn't know that I needed to learn how to drive. So um, if, we, if I say that driving was the learning skill, but at that stage, I didn't realize um, that I needed to learn uh, to drive. So there was unknown incompetence. I wasn't aware what I didn't know, what I was missing. That is stage one of any learning stage. You don't know, you're not aware of um, what you don't know. The next stage is known incompetence. Uh, so that stage, uh, you realize that you're missing something. You just see that, you know, there's a missing par part. You just realize that there's a missing piece of a puzzle. Uh, so in my own example, so when I moved to New Zealand and uh, I realized, oh, I can't travel. I'm, I'm not getting any pick up and drop off every time. It's really hard. So um, I, I realized that um, I needed to learn how to drive. I needed a driver's license. So it's a time when you, your light bulb turns on and then you realize, oh, I needed to learn this thing. It's that time when you get awareness about uh, a new thing missing about um, what you need to learn so that is known incompetence stage three is known competence as the name suggests um, known competence it's a stage when you know what you're learning so it's a stage when you put efforts consciously. So it's a stage when you do stuff um, with efforts um, by knowing, by keeping uh, yourself aware all the time. So in my condition, my example, so it was this initial stage of uh, learning how to drive. It was initial days of driving, getting, gaining my license and then driving. So I used to put extra effort every time I used to be in the behind the wheels. I used to uh, make sure that I'm driving safe, defensively. I used to use both the hands and use every, all my attention, all my focus just to drive. So this is, um, this is like, this is um, known competence. So you're really aware and then you put all your efforts 
uh, to learn, to practice, to make that le- new um, new skill in your like as a second nature. So, yeah, that's a third stage, known competence, which is usually it takes longer than the other stages, but it's worth. Fourth stage is unknown competence. So this is the stage you don't know what you've learned. You don't know what you know. Um, so explaining this stage is the stage when you reach uh, at the stage when um, your new learned skill becomes natural to you. So in my case, like driving, so I don't have to pay all my attention. So everything becomes natural. So I've got enough practice to drive in a busy place or up and up out in the like mountains or anywhere. So you become pro in that new skill that you've learned. So it's not a new thing that you consciously need to tell yourself um, to be careful, to pay all attention. So even if you start, take any other example, you start, um, you go to some new, you start a new routine you don't you need to put extra efforts initially to get used to the new routine if you start going for a walk early in the morning or exercise or anything that's a stage of unknown competence so everything becomes natural if you wonder why i'm sharing these steps or uh, stages of this um, learning journey uh, even maybe most of you might not be learning something new what i What I have learned in my life is learning is a part of life. Learning is a part of growth. You, if you notice you're learning something, that's a learning. But even you don't consider something as learning, but still you're learning something. Um, So every day we learn, we observe some information, we, we, um, we, we come across new ideas, we come across new situations. If you have anything in your mind, you have like a wish list. Um, so if you have anything like, I wish I could do this, or I really want to do, but you know, I have this and that. So if you have any excuses to stop you doing what you really want to do as a person who you are, then um, just think about this. Um, just remember this, that... Anything in this world, anyone or um, any, any tree or any, any building or any bridge or any person or anything, nothing appears instantly as uh, in one day, right? So everything has a purpose, um, everything has a system, everything has a process, everything has a journey to take, everything has a beginning, everything has a small first step. Every so if you even if you think you you as a person who you are today, you didn't become a person all of a sudden you have spent all those years of your life, all those days, um, days, all those minutes, moments. So don't limit yourself thinking that, you know, there will be a day when I can do what I really want to do. Make today the day to be who you are. I'll leave it up to you to contemplate on the idea of um, different stages of learning and uh, how and where you find yourself in various aspects of life. And um, believing that this video would have been helpful for you, do let me know in the comment section or leave a personal message um, to discuss or any anything we can work together. And um, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and stay blessed. Shukriya.